Um, my name is Satay Singh. I'm from India and I've, this is my second year in the school. And what I like about the school is the school culture is like the uh, groupness of the school, like every community comes together and there's no difference, like different groups of different countries sitting like in themselves. Okay. So it's an integrated I've been in the school for three years. And what I really love about the school, like Sutej said, is the international atmosphere and the international like community. The way people are just like I've been in the Berlin one, British school for regardless 15 of where years. you come from. What I love about this place is that it's such a very close community. You can talk to everybody, you're comfortable being here. The teachers are very friendly. You know I've everybody. I've been in this school since year 12. School so and what I love about this school is that everyone's friends with everyone. Everyone knows everyone and no one's an outsider. Um, because it's so small, everyone knows everyone and it's very international. Everyone Can you talk to me a little bit about the, about the learner of the future? So obviously for you guys, you're going into, this is your sort of final year of school mm -hmm. before you go into um, the next chapter in your, in your lives. What do you think, um, if you think about learners of the future, so perhaps the young children in our school, what do you think they need to learn? What dispositions, what, how do you think their char character needs to develop? And so on and so on. So what's your vision for the learner in the future? And the frame view for th is this, is that if you had a child in the future, mm -hmm. what type of school would you want them to go to? What type of education would you want them to have? Well, I want to send my child um, one day to a place <laughs> where they can feel happy to go to, not to a place where they feel forced to go to. So somewhere where they can go, they can feel comfortable instantly, somewhere where they can make friends, somewhere with a positive atmosphere, which isn't just a brick slab in the middle of the city, but something comfortable, something something vibrant, something young, something that matches the type of person that a young person is. I think... Oh, so, sorry, Marie. You, you want to go first? Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think globalization is a really important thing nowadays. Like, this... That you have to... I think the learner of the future has to learn how to respect not only their culture at home or wherever, has to learn to respect every culture and nationality because that's increasingly important nowadays, right? And that's one of the things that I think international schools can offer. It's a great plus, which other schools can't. And I just agree with those two. <laughs> no other Marie, Marie, go. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I think that uh, you should, the student should be able to motivate himself and come to a place, like Chris said, where you would be motivated to do something like that, to work, not where you have like a strict set of rules, do this, do that. If you don't do that, you get punished. He has to be motivated himself to do something for his own future. And therefore, I think motivation is a big thing that the learner of the future Mary, has to have. I think being proactive is really important because... Like and you, and you learn that when I guess you come to IB, it's really kicked in in these last two years. Like doing things, like being a mover, as in being a sort of leader in a sense, pushing people to move and not waiting to be moved yourself. Like as in a school that teaches you independence, but doesn't leave you, you know, out to dry. And I think that's really important, learning yeah, exactly. to be how to be Like self-studies is also important, so like getting to do your stuff yourself instead of the teachers having to force every single action for you to do, like your homework or even your like, if you want to do a special field something, do it yourself instead of having the teacher to tell you <laughs> what to do whenever you have to do the deadlines, you have to remind yourself. And that kind of culture is really important for the new learners, I guess, because times are going to be harder. <laughs> it's true. There's increasing competition. Yeah, increasing everywhere, competition, right? right. To get into university, exactly. market, and stuff. Yeah. So a young learner should be someone who's motivated to take care of themselves academically, and by making giving them a place where they can do this, where they can feel that it's worth striving for. I think that's what's very important for the next generation of learners. It should be something they're willing to take on to themselves, to achieve it for themselves. They should be told that you know it's they're the ones learning for their own futures, and that's what's important to bring across to them.